Daily Topic Chat, day six. Uh, so yeah, you know the drill by now. Grab yourself a coffee, enjoy the vibe. Yeah. Put that over there for later. There's some kids playing outside. Probably hear them. Okay. First topic I want to discuss today. I was thinking about this like literally right before I started recording the video. Is that. You know when. When we have these like. Aspirations and we have these dreams. We like. We tend to fear other people knowing that we have these dreams and we tend to fear like other people finding out that we have these aspirations. But personally, for me, I'd rather work towards that dream anyway, regardless of that fear. Because, like, failure is a very real possibility with what I'm doing here. Like, I could very well fail at building a successful audience. But I'd rather, 50 years down the line, I'd rather know that I tried and failed and then resign myself to a life of mediocrity. Rather than 50 years down the line thinking, what have I tried? You know? Like, I'd rather fail than live with a regret. Actually, uh, one of the video ideas I wrote down is about that sort of concept, I think. Here, check it out. Yeah, there's two videos about it. Keep the dream alive even when it feels like a nightmare. And some people just won't get it. So those two videos in conjunction will give you like sort of my view on chasing your dreams, chasing your aspiration. And I mean, you are going to have to wait a bit for that one. That, like, <laughs> I have... I'm going to see how many videos I have in storage. So. I have that one. Hmm. I have the first week of videos. Uh, done and uploaded. So. Here. Uh, it's a coffee chat video. That already went up. Uh, give me a second for this. I'm really hoping it tells you like how many videos you fit. All right, here, I'm, I'm just gonna count. 10, 15, 20, 26. All right, yous are gonna have to wait a little bit more than 26 days to see those videos. So I hope yous are willing to stay that long. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, do that. I was semi-convinced that I should just not work today. Because, like, as I've just said, I have 26 videos in store. And I already had yesterday. Today's coffee chat recorded yesterday because I'm a day ahead on that schedule. So I have everything that I need to have recorded, recorded. But, you know, like I, I want to do the work. Like I want to be able to take off the box on my habit tracker that says work. And that's, that's what I'm going to do. I have seven video ideas there. All of them are going to get recorded today. 
and then they will be slowly uploaded. And then I'm going to take a shower because I didn't get to have one this morning. Woke up pretty late this morning, actually. I woke up at around 6. And I know, like, to most people as in late, but I usually wake up at 4. So it's like, you know, it, it was a bit weird. You know, I went to sleep at half 8 yesterday, so I got up. Like, I caught up on a few Z's, you could say. Had a good workout today. Benched 70 for 3 for 5 sets. Pretty happy with that. I've been doing a daily undulating periodization for my bench strength and like trying to get my one rep max up. Because I want to be able to hit, I wanted to hit uh, two plates by now, but you know, I've been kind of stuck at the 80 plate limit and, you know, like, I think maybe it's just because I'm not, like, bulky enough for it. Because 80 kilos is 20 kilos more than I weigh. So, I'm actually pretty light. I would say I have a good physique. But, you know, I, I'm light. I'm... I'm a lightweight person, I don't weigh that much. You could probably bench me if you're watching this video and you've been going to the gym, you could bench me. I'm like a beginner's bench. So, you know, like that's maybe not the best, but eh, who cares. So yeah, I'm gonna be, after Lent ends, I'm gonna be trying to bulk up a little bit more so that I can you know really lock in I suppose because I want to lock in this year that's that's number one priority lock the fuck in I already have like all the vision of like okay I'm gonna grow this channel I'm gonna become closer to God I'm gonna I'm gonna get bigger I'm gonna get stronger like you know I have all of that in my mind and I'm I'm ready for it I'm ready to I'm ready to lock in for the year and it's gonna be fun it's gonna be great because the last week I've been really locked in like waking up at four most days yesterday like today was the only exception I've been waking up at four for like a week I've been getting to sleep before the sun even sets I've been, you know, working every day. I've been doing these videos. I've been, you know, I've been taking care of myself more than I was. I've been reflecting on my day, like, a lot more. I've been going to church. I've been going to Mass. Like, I've been reading, like, five chapters of the Bible every day. Like, I am I am locked in right now. And I can't wait to lock in even more. The only thing that isn't locked in is my diet and where I'm spending my time outside of all the things that I just mentioned. But, you know, I want, like, a little bit of free time to kind of be, you know, a bit of a consumer. And I feel like it's about finding that balance. But I am hella excited to get locked in for this year. Also, you may have noticed, new fit, linen, linen pants. I like this t-shirt a lot. It's got like a, a nice little design on it. Follow the leader. Uh, here it comes twice. I think it looks pretty cool. This jumper's a bit big for me. But like, that's sort of what I wanted it for. It's gonna be great during the winter. So yeah, new fit, same shit, but I, I'm, I'm telling you guys, this year's gonna be crazy. If you're watching this, if you're watching this far, lock in with me. Let's just make our dreams come true. Like, let's just say fuck it and just try. Just try our best. Give it our all. 
It's gonna be great. And really want to quit these. Really want to quit these. I have a video that I'm going to record today. Again, you're going to have to wait 26 plus days for that. Where I talk about the cost of bad habits and how, you know, in the moment we don't really realize why they're so bad. And this is the reason I made that video. Because past two years I've been smoking right and I have I haven't really realized that oh shit there's actually a consequence to this and I know that sounds stupid but like if you were in my shoes you get you get what I mean you don't realize like how bad of a consequence you are gonna have to face from Doing these things. Sorry, thought someone was coming in through the door. You don't really realize how bad of a consequence that you are going to have to face. But I have had like a terrible cough that I know for a fact is from these. And I've been like very short of breath. I've been shorter of breath than usual. And it's like, I don't know. I, I want to quit these too. That's where the little uh, smoking trackers have come in. Oh, I need to make an extra tally there for this one. I have four of them up on my wall right now. I'd say in this week I'm going to average around 11. Like 11 smokes a day. Which isn't that bad, thankfully. I Like... You know, there's a lot of people that are well worse off. There's a lot of people that are smoking like 40 a day. So I'm very happy that I'm only at 10. But, you know, I'm going to have to really work to like cut it down. Like, I can do cold turkey. I can do cold turkey. It's just like the mental health aspect of it. Because when you quit smoking... Like, eventually, your mental health will fall. Because you're not getting, like, this... I don't even know what it is. Like, honestly. But people do experience that when they quit smoking. Where they will feel like their mental health start to diminish and worsen. And... It's my hope that by cutting it down first and then going cold turkey... It will be a lot easier of a process to get through. Because when Lent started, I quit these for nine days. I think I've already said this somewhere on my channel. I quit these for nine days. And I'm very proud that I was able to do that. But on the day where I relapsed... Oh, that shit was hard, man. That shit was fucking hard. Like, for throughout the nine days, my mental health was just slowly getting worse. And I was already starting off from a pretty bad place mentally. So it wasn't fun. Like, it was like... Mentally, I was in the space of, like, an addict. Because I was, like, straight up a fucking addict to, like, a bunch of things that you, you don't want to be addicted to. Back at the beginning of February and throughout January too. And when I did like quit for Lent, I got like a little bit of like a, oh, we're, we're good. We're good again. And then it just start, sort of like went down and down and down. And it got to a point where it was just like, I just couldn't keep going. And I'm, you know, like, I, I don't want to jinx it, but I have been in a very good place, like, recently. I've been in the we're so back era, and, you know, like, I really want to use this time to try and make some meaningful changes. And the reason why I haven't, like, quit smoking again 
I wanted to, like, I wanted to go cold turkey, but I just didn't, really. Like, if you smoke yourself and you've tried to quit, you know what I mean by you want, like, you make the plan to quit, and then you just don't. Like, you get, like, you get what I'm talking about, right? And, I know, it's just... I feel like right now I need to lower down my consumption so that I am like slowly killing the habit rather than trying to immediately kill it. Because trying to make that immediate change. For some reason it's harder when you're in a good mental space because you know your mind's thinking oh it's we're good now and what we're doing right now is like it works. Why would we change it? And I know that's like, yeah, like the, a weird downside of having good mental health, right? But I, I know I need to change this. I know I need to quit. And I'm hoping that, no, I'm not even hoping. I know I will quit this year. Like I'm not making an excuse. I know I'm going to quit this year. So, I don't know. I don't even know what, where I was going with this tangent, or like what I was trying to say, other than we're locking in, we're locking in. Coffee's done. Have a good day. Keep running when no one else is.